Welcome to the HP12C video tutorial series, Working with Net Present Value NPV, and Internal Rate of Return IRR. You will be guided through three financial scenarios involving uneven cash flow analysis. The first example will deal with solving net present value with three years of cash flow information. The second example will guide you on solving for internal rate of return, and the third example will guide you on using the NJ key to facilitate multi-year repeated cash flow values. Net present value, NPV, is the difference between the present value of cash inflows and the present value of cash outflows over a period of time. The central idea in this calculation is determining if the expected rate of return is greater than or equal to the required rate of return. The HP12C helps you analyze cash flow information with a given interest rate to determine if an investment makes sense. The next example will walk you through a scenario with guided keystrokes. Example 1, solving for NPV. You pay $100 for a stock which provides a yearly cash flow at the end of each year as follows. $5 at the end of year 1, $6 at the end of year 2, and $7 at the end of year 3. At the end of year 3, you sell the stock for $110. Should you purchase this stock, assuming the required rate of return is 8.25%? The answer will be yes if the NPV is 0 or greater, and no if less than 0. Begin with entering the initial cost of the stock, $100. This is entered as a negative number using the change sign key, or CHS and then placed into the CF0 register using the blue prefix key. Next, the yearly cash flows are entered, in this case one at a time, into CFJ, which is a special memory register that can hold a list of values. The third and last value is $117, because this combines the final year's cash flow of $7 and the $110 stock sale. Enter the required rate of return, 8.25%, as 8.25, and then place it in the interest register using the I key. The final step is calculating the NPV value using the prefix F key and the PV key on the top row. The resulting calculation shows $1.98, which is a positive value. This positive value does mean that the expected rate of return is exceeding the required rate of return. To see this answer with greater accuracy, press the keys prefix F and 4. You can always switch back to two digits by pressing prefix F and 2. The internal rate of return, IRR, is the discount rate that makes the net present value, NPV, of a project zero. The calculation involves a summation of a series. Thankfully, the HP12C makes quick work of this calculation. Example 2, solving for internal rate of return. Using the same facts from the previous example, let's look at how to solve for IRR. Enter negative $100 as before into CF0, and enter the yearly cash flows as before into CFJ. Note that you do not need to enter the interest rate. Once the yearly cash flow amounts are entered, use the keys prefix F and the FV key on the top row. The IRR calculation is intensive and may take several seconds. The calculated value of 8.9934 can be rounded up to 9%. Example 3, using the NJ key. Entering cash flows of the same amount for multiple years can be tedious. This is where the NJ key is essential in reducing the number of keystrokes needed to enter your data. Assume a client's required rate of return is 6.75%. Starting today, the following cash flows are needed in retirement. 20,000 for years 0 through 5 and 35,000 in years 6 through 10. Find the NPV and use the NJ key to enter these different values. 
Year zero is special, and this will be directly entered into CF0 as 20,000. And since this is a payout, it will be entered as a positive number. Let's look at years one through five. All values are the same, 20,000. And this is where using the NJ key will be helpful. Enter 20,000, enter it into CFJ. Now enter five, followed by prefix G and the FV key. Here is what just happened. Five duplicates of 20,000 have been quickly entered into the CFJ list. Do the same with years 6 through 10, entering 35,000 into CFJ and enter 5 and use the NJ key. A total of 10 data entries are now in your cash flow memory, plus the value in CF0. The only actions needed to finish this calculation are entering the interest, which is 6.75, and pressing the prefix F to access the NPV. After a few moments, it shows the value $206,774.65. How you describe this to the client is today you'd have to give up $206,774.65 to receive six $20,000 yearly payments starting today followed by five $35,000 yearly payments. Try the following three examples. Pause the playback now. Here are the keystrokes for practice question one. Clear all registers. Enter 120, change sign, prefix G, going into CF0. Seven, prefix G, CFJ. Eight, prefix G, CFJ. $9 is combined with 140, so enter 149, prefix G, into CFJ. Enter the interest rate, 11, and press I. The final step is to press prefix F for NPV. The result is 1.75. Practice question two, clear all registers. As before, enter 120, change sign, prefix G, going into CF0. Seven, prefix G, CFJ. Eight, prefix G, CFJ. Nine dollars is combined again with 140, so enter 149, prefix G, into CFJ. Final step is pressing keys prefix F and IRR. Adjust the number of digits displayed by pressing prefix F and 4. Practice question 3. Clear registers. Enter 21,000, press prefix G, and that's entered into CF0. Enter 21,000 again, press prefix G, and that is entered into CFJ. Now enter 4 and prefix G, and press NJ. Next, enter 33,000, prefix G, entered into CFJ. Enter 6 and prefix G, and press NJ. The interest is 6.5%, which is entered into the register I. The final step is prefix F for NPV.